welcome to the new segment of the grade 7 today we are going to discuss we are discussing history part in that fourth chapter the mughal empire so in this today we are going to discuss a closer look of ba akbar's policies so already you know that akbar is a great uh, emperor of a mughal dynasty or empire <coughs> when we see the administration of the akbar it will be very vast and as well as he is given a very important for to the each and every uh, aspects of his uh, dynasty and he is main important that is revenue uh, minister todarman he has uh, created a huge environment of administration as well as collecting taxes as well as how the crops has grown and which crops they have to be grown around a 10 years plant has done by a todar man this all um, and another friend of akbar that is uh, abul fazl so he has given account of his administration in his book akbar nama in first value second value as well as in a third value huge discussion everything has explained about akbar empire so this empire uh, and uh, provisions uh, are called subhas and governed by the subedar so it has subhas uh, work has carried out by a subedar and the military campaigns functions and each military uh, financial officers the financial officers are known as diwan and these peace and order provisions the subedars supporting uh, officers and military campaigns so military payments was who has a paying a salary for the military they are known as bakshi and minister changes in charge of uh, religious as well as uh, these religious changes those are known as sadhar and military commanders they are known as the fauzdar and town police commanders they are known as a kotwal so that these are the important administration noblest persons of the akbar dynasty so akbar's noble uh, commanders they have a large armies and the large amount of revenue has collected by in his empire for to do the all the functions of royal uh, emperor functions has uh, run by under uh, these uh, collected revenue in uh, 17th century the all many noblest had declared themselves as a independent ruler and that is the main important of uh, these moguls they lost control in their dynasty or in their empire in in uh, uh, when we see that akbar was uh, when he was in uh, fatih uh, fatihpur sikri during in the period of 1500 and he is a main intention of a discussion about all the religions all the all the caste system so for that purpose he called all the um, uh, scholars religion scholars so these religious scholars of the caste noblest persons they are gathered in a fatehpur sikri 
that is uh, specially religion of uh, ulma that is a discussion of the main person of the islam so brahmins and jesus prices roman catholics and jerostarians so they want to discuss about their caste system or their religion so akbar he want to understand all the up and the up and ups and downs as well as the rules and regulations he want he want to understand all that things so that purpose he made one uh, a small meeting in fatehpur sikri so the remaining part we'll discuss about this uh, in a tomorrow session uh, for reference you can refer 7th grade textbook thank you